In order to make my block print, I have to have a block uh, with an image that is uh, protruding from the block to press into my paper uh, in order to make the print. So I just have uh, a piece of three quarter inch thick hardwood, a piece of scrap. Uh, I'm doing five by seven uh, today for this print. And uh, this is just an image, it can be downloaded. Uh, to go to Google Images and you know uh, find cartoon characters or you could get uh, coloring book images or silhouettes or whatever you like or you can just draw your own and what I need to do is I need to transfer this to the wood that's just printed on on paper but I'm using carbon paper well that's what they called it in the old days today they call it transfer paper but it's just carbon paper and it's, if you call it transfer paper, now you buy it in the art stores and it's very expensive. But uh, here's an old bill of lading, and they're usually in triplicate. And you get a couple of cob you get a couple of uh, sheets within it. You can tear it out. Sometimes you can get these forms for free in an office somewhere, or you can buy these. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than buying the transfer paper. So you can just pull it out and use it over and over again for uh, quite a few times. So that's what I did. And now what I want to do is I want to trace this image onto the wood block. Um, and once I trace the image, I can fill it in uh, with some Sharpie and uh, then I can use a, a razor blade and some carving tools. So I'm just going to start tracing it out right here. But you get the idea of what I'm doing here. And I won't make you sit through the whole thing. I've finished tracing all around this. Let's see what it looks like. And there I have my image. What I'd like to do is I'm going to go around and fill this in. I want to I want to be able to easily see the black area because that's the area that's going to stay proud. That's going to be the image that will print. Now the task at hand now is to start taking all this wood away and just leaving the black image. I don't want this block to scoot around on me. Here's a very simple piece of sheet metal and it'll hook on the edge of the desk. I put this block on here. Now I can use my gouges. It's, it's going to stay put. And this was introduced and provided uh, in a class last winter on block making and uh, in rubber stamp making. Uh, the company that produces this, I don't even know what you call it, but uh, right here there's a, a, an address. It's uh, www.inovart.net. Uh, you can look them up, see if you see something that looks like this. You can use it for a number of things linoleum uh, blocks if you're carving those. This is uh, a wood block for, for a wood cut print. But uh, there are other things you can use it for if you're doing any kind of carving and you don't want it scooting around on you. What I like to do is before I start taking away material, what I like to do is uh, go around the edges with an X-Acto knife first. Or any type of sharp blade and that will help prevent uh, cutting away any of the black area when I start to use the gouges
Okay, I've, uh, I've spent several hours over the past couple of days just paring away the wood chip by chip. And uh, I'm at this point now. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a couple of coats of this uh, Krylon Clear uh, spray and uh, let it dry sanding in between coats. And then I'm going to try the first print to see what it looks like. And I'm just spraying this uh, clear on there to help seal the wood. Uh, and that'll keep ink from, or paint from, saturating into the wood. Um, I don't have any ink, but I'm going to use latex paint. But the problem is latex paint dries very quickly. Uh, this is just cheap uh, acrylic latex from Walmart. It's only no, oh, not even two bucks. Um, but I, I found out that you can make latex um, dry slower if you add glycerin to it. And I got this at the pharmacy at Walmart for a few bucks. But I don't know exactly how much to add, so I'm just winging it. I'm going to add a little bit of ink. Not ink, but uh, paint which is way more than enough here. Just a couple of drops to that paint. I don't know if that's too much or not enough. And I'm going to mix it all up, mix it together. I have my ink here. And I've got to spread it out. I want to make sure I get a good even coat on the brayer. The brayer is nothing more than just a roller. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, and like the uh, the video, share it if you will, uh, leave a comment for me. Let me know what you'd like to see. Thank you very much.